3PO doing here? What? Anyway, guys, <laughs> do me a favor and hit that red subscribe button. I really appreciate it. We're going to bring the Caribbean all the way to Walt Disney World Resort. As some of you may or may not know, this is home to the Pirate Rooms R. And here's some of the construction that's going on. Ugh, construction. Unfortunately, for those of you that have no other option but to stay at Caribbean Beach, or perhaps because you love pirate rooms, this is a great option for pirate rooms. But it's not a great option when it comes to rest and relaxation. This resort is chock full of construction right now. I'm sure you're, you've heard of it. But this is the reality of it. You're going to see beautiful pictures online, but I'm here to show you what you are getting right now, at least for this year. So we are heading into Trinidad South, building 35, room 23. So the room number will be 25, 3523. In the center, you can see that that is where the main construction is happening. Up top, where you see Custom House, is where the Riviera Resort is coming in. This is the gondola system that will be coming into Caribbean Beach. This is the reason for the construction. So be on the lookout soon for these gondolas. However, until then, we are going to be dealing with the construction at Caribbean Beach. So right across from building 35, as you can see, this is the construction for the gondola system. This is going to be where probably one of the main hubs are. These are some of the towers that are going to be associated with the pulley system that will be taking the gondolas back and forth. And as you can see on your left is a nice little relaxing beach area. This area did not have a lot of noise in terms of construction, which was very refreshing. So here we have the Spyglass Grill. This is probably the only place that does not have any construction going on, which was very nice. And it is located right across the way from the Skyrider or Skyliner system that was just shown. And there is not much going on here, which is very nice. As you can see, this location does not get very crowded. So um, there's plenty of food to choose from on the menu. And for those that are stressed out about the construction going on, there's alcoholic beverages. So here we have this guy thing. What is this thing? I have no clue. Anyway, <laughs> it's probably there for safety reasons. As you can see in the background though, in the middle of your screen at the top, there goes the construction. So we already start seeing that. Here's the sign for the area which is formerly known or currently known as Construction Town or Centerview. And here we have a shop that is set up for your convenience. Unfortunately, it is not that big. So here we have plenty of clothing options in the event that you go in the pool, you get wet by mistake or anything like that, or even rained on. They have socks, hoodies, and underwear for $20. Wow, that is expensive. Wow. Anyway, getting back to what I was saying, there's plenty of Caribbean Beach or pirate inspired toys and there's even goggles, sunglasses, sunscreen, there's even accessories for the little babies for, to, to get in the pool and there's even pins. You can trade pins, pins, pins. And there's a digital hat and a coconut that you can send as a postcard. So there's plenty of things here to choose from even though it's a very small shop and uh, what? A coconut as a greeting card? Okay, so speed of coconuts, we went into the Banana Cabana Bar. Banana Cabana Bar. Try saying that five times fast. Here we bought some piña coladas. Yes, piña colada. Except it didn't come with the piña. There's no pineapple in this thing. Not sure why, but anyway. Wish I would have had it in a little umbrella. Here's the menu that they have. The prices are not that bad. So here we have the pool area which is right next to one of the construction areas you can actually hear a lot of the construction that's going on in this area the good thing is that since you're by the pool you're gonna hear a lot of the water splashing so you're not gonna hear it super super loud but this is what you're gonna see when you peep over that wall when you're spending this much money on a resort, this is probably one of the last things that you want to see. You want to see everything complete, so just be prepared that this is what you're going to see. Under this roof is probably another shop. I'm not sure exactly what's going on in here, but this area used to be open with open seating, 
open to the elements, I should say, and there was a small courtyard as well that has since been overtaken by this new building coming up soon. So one of my favorite things about Caribbean Beach is the theming. So here we have a cannon that looks like it just destroyed <laughs> the Riviera Resort. <laughs> I promise that's not the case. It's being constructed. Um, and as we can see here, it is a massive resort. Um, what is this sword here? Um, you know what? Forget it. I think I'm going to get out of here. Ah, let me go. Anyway, so here we have fire pits. Who doesn't love a fire pit? Over here they have free marshmallows for every guest and you can also buy your own s'mores kit. So here we have some perfect grass, AKA artificial grass, which is great for the toddlers to run around. And they can also play in the park. This park is pretty much good for all ages. And um, I say all ages, including a 30 something friend of mine. <laughs> But this cover is actually very good because the Florida sun could be very strong, especially for little ones when they're just trying to have some fun. One of the other nice features of this resort is that there is a lot of wildlife around there. So you can see turtles, fish, lots of birds around, and um, it's just very nice and peaceful to see nature and kind of relax amongst the construction. So one of the few pools that has no construction is actually near Trinidad South. But if you head over to the big side or the big pool, that does have the most construction around it. Although there is a lot of noise around there, so you don't, it, it'll be drowned out. Um, there are more things to do at this pool, including a uh, water slide, it's very nice decorated as far as the Spanish influence is concerned and it also has a kiddie pool. So here's more of that other side of the pool. This is um, a little bit more of a pirate themed or Spanish fort theme and there's plenty of seating here. However, some of the seating has been taken away due to the construction. But um, as you can see, there is definitely still plenty of seating near the pool. So one of the good things that they've added recently is um, this awesome band who plays a lot of Caribbean or Spanish um, inspired music. And this is a great way to kind of drown out some of the construction noise that's going around near the resort. So there is a restaurant on site, however, just know that because of the construction, once again, it is under a tent. This is the buffet style restaurant. It's approximately around $20 an adult and I'm not sure how much it is for kids. Um, they've definitely attempted to recapture the Caribbean feel in this area. These are just some highlights of what's to come at the resort. However, when it comes to the food at the buffet, it is not very impressive at all. I tried to find the good in this buffet. The pictures speak for themselves. I do not think this is worth the money. But no worries, this is why you're here, because I offer you options. And one of those options is right in front of the restaurant. This is a quick service area that you can order your food at this location here and pick it up right across from it which is again right in front of the restaurant and you can take it to your room to go. So a couple of your other options include Disney's Boardwalk, which is almost right across from Caribbean Beach, just right up the road. It also has in the neighborhood, the Dolphin Hotel, which is signified by the big triangle in the back. These both hotels have great restaurants and many restaurants. So you have a great variety and there's also one more hotel that I want to point out which is in the same complex and that is the Swan. The Swan is also nearby the Dolphin Hotel. These three hotels do interconnect. So in the event you are a little confused as to where you want to go, you can literally just park at one and walk to the other two. The Swan also offers a restaurant called Kimonos which is a Japanese style restaurant that offers sushi and karaoke. So if you're in the mood to sing, head on over there. They also have a great character dining experience called the Garden Grove as well. Another option is to head on over to Disney Springs. Disney Springs now has 
a huge selection of restaurants to choose from, so there is sure to be something for the whole family. Did you know that in addition to picking up passengers, Uber can also pick up your food? Amazing! Mind blown! This is a great option whenever you have tired toddlers or children, or you're tired yourself and you don't want to go outside. Rather than eating at the Caribbean beach, you can have your food delivered to you from Uber Eats. Just download their app. Of course, be with you.